Here we are at my shop, which is basically the back of my Toyota truck. Um, one thing that I've learned is I like to tinker. And what I mean by tinkering is I like to do things a little bit different. And when it comes to jigs and spinner baits and skirts, to me, it's just not a skirt, uh, which is just a bunch of material on the back of a hook. There's a lot of things that you can do with that material to make it different or make it react different in the water. It just depends on what I'm trying to accomplish with the bait. So let me show you just some examples to get your minds thinking a little bit. Normally we're using silicone and that's what we call a tab. The majority of all the jigs that you buy or skirts on spinner baits are what we call double tabbed, just two tabs. And the traditional way is with a collar. If I'm gonna use a skirt tool, this is the one that I like to use. All it is is a tube, you slide the ring over it, and I got my little hook to bring it back through. So I'm gonna add some color to a skirt. And this is, you know, one of my, just a typical color for a football head. But a lot of times I add color simply by just the rings. I like to use, a, you know, red and orange and chartreuse because a skirt on the fall, the bulk folds over everything. But once that bait stops, either on the bottom or pulls into a branch, then the skirt has what we call a flare. And it's important to remember, the shorter the material, the quicker the spring it has, or the quicker the flare. The longer the material, the slower it is. So that really has a lot to do with when I'm tying. But I like to add color to the bait so that when the skirt opens up, they see more than just a green pumpkin skirt. There's a little bit more depth to it. I'm gonna use a skirt tool here at first, pop the end of it off. So now I have this tool, I can go up and grab my material. I'm gonna use traditional two tabs, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some color to the bait. Okay, so I've got two tabs and then some color. Pull it through. And that's pretty much how a skirt's made. Okay, so now I have the beginning of a skirt. Now this is what's fun about tinkering because I'm gonna start modding up, modifying it from here. Okay. God, somebody else probably want me to make a bait for them. <laughs> so I've got it there. Got it here. So let's say this is gonna be a football head, a green pumpkin with a little bit of green flake. It looks a lot right now. Go to all my heads I carry, three quarter ounce. So for mo most, you know, that's kind of the finished jig, which, you know, the color looks really good, but then the color might be a little bit much. What I like to do, if I want more of the green pumpkin, I'm gonna give it a haircut. And I'm gonna take all this color and I'm gonna cut it out. You can already see how you're starting to change the appearance of the jig just by cutting this color back out of it. But what I'm doing is I'm leaving a little bit of highlight around the collar of the jig. So it's gonna turn into a green pumpkin jig that's got a lot of chartreuse around the collar, but nothing in the skirt. Kind of get the idea. And it's just something different. And I have found that to be a huge accent or whatever, just confidence builder. Now that's just a typical two tabs but a lot of times I like a bait that's got a lot of bulk. So what I'll do, and I actually prefer to tie with a vise than use those collars. And the reason why I like a vise is because I can actually cinch it. All that braid that you take off your reels and throw away, I put it on spools. And this is what I do with all my old braid instead of throwing it away. I like to tie with it. So I'm gonna have four tabs, the material, instead of two tabs. And when I thread it on there, I'll be able to put some pressure on it and cinch it. And by pulling tight, as you saw that material, when I pulled tight, you saw it flare. That's how you get the material to flare, is by adding some tension to it. Now I'm gonna have a jig that's a real full jig. 
obviously it's got a lot of material on it. Now I've got me a big, you know, a larger, bulkier, bulkier jig. Okay, now a lot of times I will take a jig, especially in a football head, and I put that much material on it, this is what I'm gonna do with it, okay? Even though I just put all that material on there, a lot of times that's how I like to fish a football head, especially if, if the fish are biting really quick. It's like I said earlier, the shorter the material, the springier it is. The longer the material, the slower it is. But a lot of times those fish like things fast. And I'd put a craw on here or a real nice trailer and this three quarter ounce football head, fish like that, catches a fire out of them. But again, it's a dainty jig and you can't buy them like that. You gotta be able to build them yourself. So that's just some tinkering. 